Are you looking for the best bench scraper? I got one in the mail right here. We're gonna open this thing up and find out if it is the best one. I even have some dough down here that we're gonna test it out with too. First of all, hi. Hi to all the new dads out there. This is Dad Reviews. This is where I give you my unedited, hopefully more authentic look at the products that we like, use, and have. And this company sends to us and sponsors this video. So if you're interested in that, you might wanna consider clicking that subscribe button and hit the bell. That way you actually get notified of our videos. So this company reached out to me and they wanted me to just kind of unbox and test out this, this, their bench scraper for the first time. So I got it in the mail. Let's rip this bad boy open. If we can rip it. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> All right, so it comes in a little box here. It's made by a company called Snowy. And from what I understand, it's like a three-in-one thing. They give you a few different kinds of bench scrapers in here. How do you get this plastic stuff off? Oh wait, it's got the pull tag. Y'all ready for it? The sounds, the sounds of it becoming undone. I love this sound. You ready? It's that whole unboxing experience. It's all the sounds that you hear and everything. It's so good. All right, so we got a little, I gave you a little doohickey right there. Looks like it's in a few different languages. Just telling you about the, th the product. Um, and then they have the Heartland Stainless Steel Dough Scraper right there. Great for bread, and they even have little measuring things on there. Oh, that's cool. The Part of Life Aesthetics. Let's see, let's open this thing up and see what we have here. Oh yeah, check that out. Okay, so we have obviously our metal one here. We'll start with that one. Let's get this one out. Oh, got a nice like rubber handle or pla is that rubber or plastic? It's like a, it's a rubber handle. Yeah, that's nice. I like that. Nice rubber handle. Get a good ergonomic grip on there as well. You can actually grab this thing and then, you know, you can come in and move your dough and scrape your bench uh, and everything you can cut your dough. That's super cool. And then it also has uh, the measuring with the equivalents of cups, fluid ounces, tablespoons, and milliliters, all of the conversions right there on the front if you guys you know just need to have it right there on hand. Looks like there's also a ruler on the bottom there as well, so if you need to measure out your particular thing that you're baking or cooking. And then on the back, they have the ruler in centimeters as well, so they cover you in, with the standard, sta sta standard and metric uh, or imperial, I guess you would say, um, modes of measuring there. So super cool right there. Let's uh, take a look at these other two things, like some little plastic ones that come with it. They have a little hole in there, so if you wanna uh, hang it up in your kitchen somewhere, that could be very useful. They're nice and packaged up. Let's un unwrap. There we go. This is uh, like a light pink one right here. It's a little bit uh, more uh, bendable, I guess you'd say, than the other one, which is good. And then you also, you can actually, I'm actually surprised at how well I can grip this too. Uh, doesn't have, it just has a flat texture on there, so that'd actually make it easy to clean, especially whenever you're dealing with flour and dough. If it was textured, like stuff would get in there, so I'm glad that that's not on there. And then of course they just give, they give you two of these. And so they give you a different colored one as well. This would also be great for kids as well. If your kids want to learn how to use kitchen tools and whatnot, you can give them these plastic ones. The parents can have the metal ones and then you can actually have like a demonstration of what's going on there. So let's go ahead and let me come bring you guys down. What am I going to sit you go? Look, y'all can probably sit on this box right here. And there we go. We have our cutting board. We have some dough. And of course you have to put down a little bit of flour so the dough doesn't stick to everything. Look, you can even, Use your bench scraper to kind of spread out your flour on here, like so. Then take your dough, you want to kind of move it around. This is what our kids like to do. Whenever our we're baking, uh, we give our kids just like a little pinch of some of the dough and we let them like do their own rolling out and everything. So uh, it's always fun to get your kids involved. So what we're going to do is just kind of pat it through just to make it uh, to where it's not as sticky right there. And I'm just gonna kind of make some kind of circle log type of thing right here. And then I'm gonna try this one out. See, I can measure it if I need to measure it to be a certain, uh, a certain length. Or I can measure it this way. Like, let's say I just want this to be half an inch. I can measure right there, notice where it's at, and then boom, make that cut. Look how clean that cut is right there. Can y'all see that? That came out perfect. Y'all can't. 
Look at that. That looks absolutely beautiful. I love it. Again, you can measure it. If you want to, you can like take your finger and just kind of press right where the mark is and then make your cut. God, that cuts so well. Look at that. That is a clean cut. Okay, now let's test out this plastic one. I'm kind of curious to see how this one compares. Again, this one doesn't have the ruler on the bottom, so there's no measurement there, but since you're just giving it to kids, that came out clean too. Man, I am impressed by this thing. So then of course, uh, you can also use it like whenever you're making cookies or something like that. I'm gonna kind of press all this back down into here and we'll use the, uh, you could actually use this for Play-Doh too, which would be kind of fun. I'm gonna actually use my subscriber bell. Did you guys hit that subscribe button yet? And I'm gonna make a circle out of this thing right here. And since you're pressing down on there, you can now use your bench scraper to kind of get around and pick up things off of the cutting board, uh, which is great so that your hands free, you get it on a nice flat surface and then you can deliver it on a pan or wherever you need to put it so that you can put it in for baking. This thing is super cool. If you guys want to check this thing out, I'm gonna link it up down in the description below. Y'all go read other people's reviews about it. Don't just take my word for it. I'm just one guy literally unboxing it and opening it for the first time for you guys. And I just wanted to share with y'all my experience. So go check it out down in the description below if y'all want to read some other people's thoughts on this. If you guys are liking what we're doing here on Dad Reviews, make sure to click that subscribe button. But also, I've got some other home kitchen products right here that I want you guys to go and check out. Actually, my favorite blender, this thing right here. You guys need to go and check this thing out, the Ninja Blender. I'm gonna put that right there on the screen. Go click that video. I'll see y'all in that video. Thank you, dads, for watching. That thumbs up is always appreciated, and dad out.